What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Visual Pinball. I just upgraded this entire setup. I was still on Visual Pinball 9 and I finally went ahead and added Visual Pinball X and about, I don't know, it's like 600 and something tables. We can just call it around 700. And uh, they are all tested. Every single one is tested, fixed, updated, whatever you want to call it. They all work. So today I just want to show you a few things that will make your experience more enjoyable. Just a few things to keep in mind as you go ahead and play these tables. So let's go ahead and go into it. And the first thing we're going to talk about is controls, right? So um, to insert credit, normally you would use your side buttons on your tank stick or whatever other uh, other controller you're using if it has the you know the side buttons like the pinball buttons obviously here you need those for your flippers so the credit button switches over to the first button in the top row of your player one controller all right so if you have an arcade joystick that'll be the first button on the top row and that's always been the case and for anybody that has one of my systems you probably already know that um, you know if you're using an xbox controller is the same thing as always it's is the select button or the back button, you know, the one to the left of the uh, big X in the middle. Um, the other uh, thing you should know is the third button on the top row, that's gonna be for your instruction card uh, or rules. Um, some tables have that option where if you press that button, a instruction card will pop up. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. And the first button on the bottom row, that's going to be your left magna save and the first button on the bottom row for player two that is going to be your right magna save on the xbox joystick that would be your left and right triggers and on the xbox controller the y button that would be your uh, instruction card uh, button to view the instruction cards for uh, tables that support that and uh, I think the last thing I would mention is if you press your pause button, that is going to bring up like the internal visual pinball menu. Um, and you don't really have to do much there. Uh, that's just going to be basically if you want to pause the game. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some tables here. And since I was already talking about rule cards or, you know, instruction cards, um, let me show you guys some that I've included. Uh, these are not the ones that are built in. These are ones that I've put in there myself through the special pause menu. So if you go into the favorites here, uh, these are, by the way, a bunch of tables that I've included for you guys. So there's an, a really nice selection of some of the best tables already here in the, um, in the favorites. So let me show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Let's see. Let's go to Baywatch. That one has a nice instruction card. And when it says 100% loaded, just be patient. It's, it is loading in the background. Um, all right, so here we are. Here's the table. Let's go ahead and go into the special pause menu, which, you know, if you guys have an X-Arcade joystick, you should know what the special pause is. It's, an, it's included in the diagram that I always, uh, that you can find on my Getting Started page. If you have an extension, your special pause is going to be the menu button on your control panel. If you have an Xbox controller, that's gonna be the big X in the center. That's gonna be special pause. So I'm gonna go in there. And you wanna go ahead and scroll over to manuals. And there's the instruction card. If you go down, select it, boom, pretty cool. All right, so that's uh, a lot of the most popular tables have this. I've just done one by one I've included this for those tables obviously not all 700 are gonna have this um, but a good number will especially some of the most popular tables all right so that is instruction cards now let me show you guys a table that has a built-in uh, instruction card like from the author let's go ahead and go over to T there we go uh, by the way, if you guys see like multiple wheels like this of the same table, that's just multiple versions of the same table. I couldn't make up my mind about which one I liked best. 
Um, so I just included both in some instances. Sometimes there's three of them. Um, and sometimes they have the exact same icon, but it's not the same table. They're all different versions by different authors. All right, so let's try this first one here. This might be the one that has the built-in instruction cards, or it might be the other one. We'll see. And by the way, guys, I've spent a lot of time on this. I went through every single table, customizing things, uh, you know, any anywhere from like the, the background that you see there, uh, to the exact position of the DMD so that it's not, um, you know, over the table or, you know, so that if there's a background, it fits nicely into that little designated area over there. Um, so, yeah, everything's been been nice and uh, and looked through, looked over. Um, but let me see if this is the one with the instruction card. And I don't think this is it. No. All right. So let's take a look at the other one real quick. Okay, let's see. Yep, there you go. So if you hold down the C, you know, C button, which is the third uh, button in the top row, player one, then you get the instruction card that kind of zooms up like that in the screen, and you can see your your rules. All right, this one probably also has one in the special pause menu. Let's check that out. There you go. So you have both options for some of the tables. Um, let's go back out. This one also has another feature where you can change the lighting of the table. So if you press your left magnet save button, which is the bottom row first button, you can change the color of the LEDs on the play field. It's pretty cool. And that's just something that's very specific to this table. It's not something for, it's not for every table. This is something the author included for this table. All right, let's go ahead and exit. And real quick, I'm just going to show you a table because I just want to point out that some tables don't require you to like insert credit. Uh, so it's just something to look out for if you're trying to insert credit and, and it's not doing it. You think that the table doesn't work. It does. I remember I tested every single one of these. Um, of course, I could have missed something here and there. So if anything is not working for you guys, just let me know. Um, but for example, this table here, let's launch it. This one doesn't use credit because this was like a home version machine. Didn't have, uh, you know, a coin mech on it. So there's no need to insert credit. It was just free play, basically. So if you go to try to insert credit, it's not going to work. All you have to do is press player one start. And, you know, the table will start. Go. All right, let's go ahead and exit. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is that some tables take a while to, um, not a while to load, but when you load the table, uh, it uh, goes through like a boot up process like the real table would. Uh, so let me, this is one of them here. You're going to see what I mean in a second. It has to go through like a whole uh, boot up process as if you were like turning on the real table. So there you are right now. If you try to insert credit or press play or one start or anything like that, it's not going to work. You have to go ahead and wait for it to go through its motions and then you'll be able to start. So there you go. Now you can start it. So you can press insert credit, player one start. And you're off and running. All right, let's go ahead and exit. And I think that that's about all I want to show you guys. Just one other thing is that some of these tables, um, they're pretty heavy, meaning like they take, uh, they, they use more resources than other tables and they take longer to load, um, especially ones that have pup packs. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to get into, into the like, exact description of what a pup cap a pup pack is but it's basically media like like um uh you know complementary media like videos that play and stuff like that that certain people make and put together uh really cool stuff and uh 
Let's go into my favorites again. I'm going to show you some tables that have that. And some of these tables do take a while to load, like Wizard of Oz is one of them. The DMD file for this one, not the DMD, the uh, backlash file for this one, the B2S, is pretty, pretty large. Um, takes a while to load. So you're going to see that it's... Uh, it doesn't, it appears and then goes away, but then it appears again. Just just wait for it. You can you start even start playing before it appears, but um, see it's taking a bit longer to load for this one. Uh, just give it time. And speaking of uh, tables that are more resource intensive, guys, uh, I really s recommend that you guys upgrade your memory to 16 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, most things on, on my systems have no issue with four gigs of RAM, even you know, even Visual Pinball X, um, but then some of these tables like this one could really benefit from more RAM, like 8 to 16. You might as well go with 16. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend it and see how that back glass took a little bit to come up. I would just wait for it before I start playing and then you can just go ahead and, and start. You know, it's just better to wait for it. All right, let's check out another table that has a pup pack. And that is gonna be, uh, what can we do here? Let's do Guardians of the Galaxy. Just wait it out. Here we are. You see how it has a nice video that's playing over there. Um, that's that's the pup pack right there. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, go ahead and exit that. And by the way, guys, if you ever have any issues, like uh, you start up a table, um, a flipper gets stuck or something like that, just quit out, start it again, and it'll fix that problem. If you ever have any any problems where like the whole thing just freezes, um, you know, just go through the, through the regular steps, either Control Shift Escape, like so. And then in the list over here, and this is Windows 10, by the way, I'm gonna be putting this out soon, uh, but Windows 7 is the same thing. Um, although I'm not going to have visual pinball X on windows seven. So never mind that comment. Um, but yeah, you go over here, uh, go to details. I always like to go to details better and then just look for visual pinball X in here. It's not running now cause I quit out of it, but it'll be in here. You can select it, do end task and it should quit it out. And then you can come back here and like start over again. Uh, worst case scenario, if that doesn't work, you can always do a control alt delete. It does work slightly different. Um, and then, then go to the task manager and do that. And uh, if none of that stuff works, you can always just tap the power button on your PC uh, to restart it. Never hold it down, always tap it because if you hold it down, that is, that is not a proper shutdown and it could corrupt your file system and cause other problems. But yeah, guys, that is gonna be it. Like I said, this is a really nice update. Everything is nice and clean. Everything's nice and curated. I've gone through everything. It took me a long, long time to get through all of this stuff. Everything is configured properly. No error messages. None of that, you know, none of that, none of that nonsense. So it's a nice, nice setup for you guys. All right. So I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.